Hey guys, Cindy Oda here with Marity Endeavors. How are we doing? Um, I'm doing good. It is morning. Still working on the coffee. Can't help that. Uh, look what we're going to do today. <clears throat> My story. And today's topic is grief. I'm sorry, excuse me. No, it's not. Let me start that over again. Hey everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. I'm on take two. <laughs> the first time around, I, I, yeah, I said the wrong subject, so I was like, yeah, no, that's not working. Morning, it's morning time, having the coffee, which is a good thing. Okay, we're talking about my story, um, and this chapter is chapter number 17, and today we're going to talk about guilt. Last time I said it was grief, but that's not right, so it's guilt. We're going to talk about guilt today, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read a little um, part of this book, which is You Are Stronger Than You Know, Words of Hope and Encouragement for Someone Living with Chronic Illness. Now, the last video, I gave away two of the books. I have one more, so make sure that you comment down below, and um, if you would, to get into the chance for the giveaway is just once we get through with today's topic, give me a tip on how you handle your guilt. Okay, and like I said, make a comment below and we will give away our third copy of this You Are Stronger Than You Know by Blue Mountain Arts Collection. All right, so for today, we're doing chapter 17. And like I said, our topic today is guilt. And I just, I really like this. I, this um, little, there's actually two of them here just worked for me. The first one is called Trust Your Instincts. More than anything else, it's essential that you trust your own instincts. You will be relying on your instincts to help you guide toward the practitioner's approaches and treatments that make the most sense to you. Your decisions may not be made on anything more than a gut feeling or a sense after reading or hearing about a particular approach. Wow, that just sounds so right. Now, I'm going to stop here for a second because that's what we're talking about, the guilt. And you need to <coughs> rely on your own instincts. You need to listen to your gut feeling when it comes to the topic of guilt. We'll talk about that. Um, or you may choose to find a practitioner who inspires your utmost trust, confidence, faith, and hope and follow his or her direction. Instinct comes into play there as well because some of the best practitioners are combining their own instincts applying to the art of medicine to make decisions about a complex and rarely clear-cut treatment approach this is the biggest thing trust yourself trust your instincts and trust what your body is trying to tell you that is huge that is huge when it comes to working through the guilt um, this one here, okay, that was done by Mary Shimon, S-H-O-M-O-N, Shimon. My kitty cat's yelling at me. Can you hear her? Yes, Abadu. We're talking about guilt today. All right, this second one, it says, Inside of you lie all the answers, all the worries and confusion you harbor as you walk through your life each day. Don't have to weigh you down and close you off from the true you because all of the answers lie within your soul. <clears throat> Listen to your heart. Hear your spirit as it guides you to the next positive step toward your freedom. Hear your mind's voice leading you in the right direction. You will never lead yourself wrong. And this is by Paula Michelle Adams. Now, when I talk about guilt, the first thing I want to um, talk about is what guilt actually means. Guilt is the sign of doing something wrong. Now, when it comes to our chronic illness, <clears throat> we are not doing anything wrong, okay? Let me widen you out a little bit. There you go. Um, our chronic pain chose us. We didn't choose it, right? I sure as heck wouldn't have ch chose this life for myself. Let's see. Let make sure we get this in here right. <clears throat> so... My cat's driving me crazy. Hold on just a second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. We had to get her taken care of. Um, she's Ever since we've lost Buster, she just drives us crazy. She's a crazy girl. Um, so we're talking about guilt. And like I said, guilt is normally the sign of doing something wrong. But not being able to do something because of our chronic pain is not something wrong. Does that make sense to you? I hope so. Um, it makes sense to me. So, we're going to go ahead and do a page based on this. Oops, there's my pencil. 
do, 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 my paintbrush. Now, when I say something about guilt, the guilt that I'm talking about is if you have to cancel something with a friend because your body is just not up to it. If you, um, you know, have to say no. Somebody's invited you to go out and do something for the day. And, you know, three days ago you thought, okay, yeah, yeah, we can make plans to do that. And then all of a sudden, you know, you wake up that morning and your body's in one of those modes where it doesn't want to do anything and you're just going to live in agony all day, right? So you get guilty from that. And, you know, I think it's it's just, it's a natural emotion to be guilty because you feel like you're letting somebody else down. And in all reality, those friends that know that you're in the chronic pain and those friends that understand your chronic pain, you're not letting them down. They get it. Now, the reason this subject came up for me um, and the reason I'm doing it this month is because just recently I was, I went on a small girls vacation. Um, we went down to um, Williamsburg, Virginia and met another girlfriend there from North Carolina. My friend from up here went down with me and there were some days that, I'll be honest, I way, I pushed myself way more than I should have. And the reason being was because of that guilt. Because I'm thinking to myself, okay, these girls, you know, they work, um, <clears throat> which I used to, but not anymore. Um, you know, they work, and this is their vacation. They want to go and do. They want to, you know, enjoy their time off, and I get that. So, to me, I felt like I should go and do as much as I can and, and I'm going to back up. Even though I'm saying that, they totally understand and they get the pain I'm in. They get it. Um, these are my real close friends. And they know. They know that they've seen me in the pain. They know it gets really bad for me. And I was talking to my one friend about it. And I told her, I said, I feel really bad that, you know, I want to be able to go and do. And the comment that she made to me is, Cindy, she goes, I knew coming on my vacation that you would not be able to go and do. She says, I'm cool with that. She says, I'm just glad just not to be to work, to just be hanging out with my friends and just, you know, enjoying life. Even with her saying that, it still, I felt guilty. And I felt like I should be doing more. I felt like I should... Um, do more. And that, like I said, there were days that I did. I went out and I did way more than I should have. Um, but it's that guilt. It's that inner guilt of feeling like, you know, they, they don't deserve this. They don't deserve the pain. They don't deserve to have to deal with this. They should be able to go and do and enjoy their vacation. And you know what I'm saying? So that's the type of guilt that I'm talking about. Um, so the guilt being you know, um, canceling on a friend, what we just said, um, or causing your family and friends to worry. And I can tell you, my, you know, the, the really close family and friends that I have around me, when they see me in that very, really high pain day, it, it takes a toll on them as well. And you guys know that. Any of you that are out there with the chronic pain, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your friends and family don't want to see you hurting like that. They wish there was something they could do for you. And there's really nothing they can do other than understand. So, guilt, as far as I'm concerned, is a big topic when it comes to chronic pain. It's huge. It's not something that you can just work through and will go away, in my experience. Now, maybe some of you have learned how to do that and how to make it go away. I have not. Um, I still have the guilt. It may not be on a daily basis anymore, but it's still there. I still feel like I should be able to go and do more than I do. And, you know, we just have to learn how to deal with it on a daily basis, I think. Um, you know, another thing that you feel guilty for is, okay, let's talk about a pain management day, right? 
my pain management days when I get so extremely in an amount of pain that I just I don't even want to breathe my pain management days are spent on the couch okay I will sit up for a while I'll get up and walk around for a while I'll lay down for a while and I, I call it rotating I rotate between those three actions and when I do that it's it's almost like it's just a binge watching of Netflix because I'm not going to get up and do any laundry. I'm not going to get up and because I can't. I'm in so much pain at that point. I just need to work on my body and try to get it to calm it down. So um, let me, I'm going to dry this up really quick and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about it. All right, so this is a little bit dry. <clears throat> as good as it's going to get right now. Oops, I'm going to want that in a minute. So, <clears throat> pardon me, here are the paints that I got out today. Um, I've got my System 3, which is, this looks like a pistachio. Yep, pistachio. I have my Lime Yellow from Premier Acrylics, another System 3 Wedgwood, and then I have a Golden Teal. This is a sample, but it's almost gone. So um, these are the colors we're going to use today. Let me just throw some on my palette. What you need, hon? I was just observing. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna throw. Ugh. I don't know why, but I've been in this blue, yellow, greenish uh, mode. Um, ooh, that sounded nasty. Just my paint. It was just my paint, honest. Um, I don't know why, but these blues, greens, yellows. A lot of my pages have been like this lately. This one I'm gonna hold on to. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and get some paint down on these pages. Here's my palette. Ixy looks ooky. Remember I showed you guys this before. But let's get some paint down. So we're talking about the guilt. So pain management. That is another thing that I know um, I will feel guilty over. Is those days, you know, when the husband comes home and it's like, you know, I've been on the couch all day. And yeah, you feel guilty about that. It's not, you know what, I'm not liking this paint. I don't know what's up with that Wedgwood blue. It's got like, it's all liquidy. Hold on. Technical issues. I want a darker blue. Hold on, guys. We're going to go a little bit darker. Well, actually a lot darker. Here we go. This is a Lucas and this is a Cobalt blue. And I'll just mix it in with that, with that Wedgwood. Alright, let's do that. Okay, that's better. So, you know, when he comes home and, you know, I, like I said, when I've been on the couch all day, yeah, you, you do feel guilty. And I know I'm not the only one out there that does. Um, <laughs> my cat's crying. Um, you know, it, it's hard. It's hard to... Take the time to do the pain management that you know you need to do, yet still be productive, whether it's, you know, in a job or, um, you know, even in your own home. Just doing the things you need to do on a normal, you know, everyday basis. It's, it's difficult, and that guilt is really hard to um, get through. And when it comes to... I'm going to go back over all of these, um, the friends, the family, the worry, and the pain management um, once we get through the list of things that, that I feel guilty for, okay? These are mine. They not, may not necessarily be yours, but this is how I feel. Um, another thing that I feel guilty for is asking for help. You know, it gets old. It's hard. You don't want to... It's it's almost like hmm, how do I say this? It's almost like you're you feel like you're using people. Does that make sense? Um, you feel like you know, oh my God, I gotta ask her again if she'll do this for me, or I've gotta ask him again if he'll do this for me, and it just it feels like you're you're. I feel like I'm using people, and I don't like that feeling. You know, even though I know it's something that it's okay to ask for help for, and it's something I have to ask help for, it's difficult. It's difficult to keep doing that because your body won't 
do that. Do you know, that, does that make sense? I know it makes sense to you guys because you all deal with the chronic pain. And you're all sitting there shaking your heads going, yep, it does. It's hard, I know. Um, so that's one of the other issues that I feel really guilty for is, you know, asking. My, <laughs> my girlfriend, she's so sweet about it. She's like, yep, I'm your mule. Because if we go out anywhere, she's always carrying the bags or, you know, putting stuff in the vehicle or the stuff that she knows I can't do. And she's like, yep, I'm your mule. You know, and she's only joking about it. And I know that. But it's still, hmm, it makes you feel guilty. So, all right, let me dry up this page. I've pretty much got my first layer of paint on everything. Um, and it's really wet. So let me dry this up and we'll be back. All right, so we talked about being guilty or feeling guilty, um, asking for help. All right, so what's another thing that we feel guilty for, that I feel guilty for? Um, and that is saying no. Sometimes it's really hard, you know, um, you know, it's something you really would like to do. But you know, in your heart, that's not going to happen. And um, just an example, one of those things is we have um, a fall, uh, they call it an, an apple, apple festival here in upstate New York. And um, it's a lot of walking. Now, I hear, well, take your scoot and do, take your scoot and do. Well, that's fine and dandy, but it's in a field. It's in a farmer's field. And scoot and do, I don't think would do, oops, would do too well in that farmer's field. Because especially if we've had rain, it's really muddy, or there's so many people there, it's just, I, I would feel like I would be in, a, in the way. There's another thing. When I take my scoot and do out or I have to use the um, scooter that's provided at the store and my husband will yell at me for this, I always say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because I feel like I'm in other people's way. And, you know, it's, it's like a, I consider that part of a guilt. It's like, you know, I feel like I'm in their way, interrupting their day, you know, where they should just be able to walk through the island go on. Do you know what I'm saying? It's um it's a different feeling. But you know, that's that's part of this guilt. And you know, it's what I wanted to share with you guys. And I know there's so many people out there that are going through the same thing. And you know, I hear people saying, Okay, that's great. Yeah, I feel guilty too. How do I deal with it? Well, we'll talk about that. I'll talk about how I deal with it. Um, another thing that um, at times will get to me is um, you. How do I say this without sounding really strange? Um, you feel like you're a dead weight when we were on vacation, and I know I'm I'm telling you all this just because this is some of the emotions and stuff that I went through when I was on vacation, and it just it really bothered me. Um, <clears throat> you know, you feel like, oops, you feel like your easiest way I can say it is a dead weight. You feel like your, um, you feel like other girl, other people could go faster, do better, and see more. Does that make sense? Um, so you feel like you're holding people back and you're holding holding up the, I don't know, holding up the, the crowd per se. That's the only way I can explain it. So you feel like you're a dead weight. And that, you know, that can be the same with your family. I don't feel that way with my husband um, or with my immediate family because they understand, they get it, and they know. Um, but sometimes you feel like that when you're, especially in a social situation, you just feel like, um, you know, you're a dead weight. And, and that, that leads back to why sometimes I say no. I'll be very honest with you. Uh, you know, if I know there's six people going to do something and I know I'm going to be the one that can't walk that far and I'm going to be the one that wouldn't be able to do that, then I'm just going to say no. So it's all just part of learning 
how to deal with the guilt and um, being okay with it. So I want to find another stencil. I like this one. I seem to use this one quite a bit. No, I want this one. I found another one. So how many of you are sitting there shaking your head going, yep, 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 I feel that way. Yep, I know what you're talking about. Yep, that's exactly what I feel like. And it's difficult. It's so hard. It's hard to... Um, it's hard not to beat yourself up over it. And it's really hard to <coughs> take those feelings and own them and know that it's okay know that you know you it, it's okay to feel that we were humans if we didn't have these emotions we'd all be just cold and uh, uh, yeah nasty so you know it's okay it's okay to feel guilty it's okay to feel you know, the feelings that you're getting with your chronic pain and learning to live with your chronic pain. It is okay. And that's one of the biggest messages that I really hope to get across to everybody is, you know, we're human. It's okay for us to feel these things and it's okay for us to um, talk about these things. There's no reason we can't. You know what? I want a little bit of white paint on this. So... If I can find my white paint. There it is. Oh, that's texture paste. Oh, well, let's do that instead. Why not? Let's throw a little texture paste down here. And we'll put it on with a palette knife. We can do that, right? right here's my palette knife. Let's take a little bit of this texture paste and let's do it right here. Why not? All right, so of all the things that I've talked about, one, um, canceling on a friend, two, um, causing your family and friends to worry, three, guilt because you have to take pain management time, um, asking for help. There's that guilt when you have to ask for help especially when it's somebody that's in your life all the time and you know you just feel like oh, I don't want to ask them again I don't I don't want to but you have to right um, for saying no and for feeling like a dead weight not only you know to family or whatever but in society it's very very difficult I'm gonna put another one down here because I really I'm liking this stencil isn't that cool Love it. I need some more texture paste though. Whoops. <clears throat> so we're going to talk about how I deal with it and how I manage it. But the first thing I'm going to do is finish up this stencil with the texture paste. I'm going to dry up these pages really well because I don't want to mess up this, this um, flower I have here. And I'm going to make a little pocket, which I'm going to put into it the tools that I use to deal with that guilt. And really, they're really simple. Um, yay! Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Love it! All right, let me dry this up, and we will come back, and we'll chat about how we deal with those feelings of guilt. I'll be back. All right, so here's what I've got. I've got this envelope that I want to use as a pocket, but I wanted to put more to it. So this is a piece of canvas that uh, Gina had sent to me um, a while back. It was one of her canvases that she uh, took apart to make pieces with. And so I'm going to use a piece of this canvas. I wonder if I can get this. Yes, I can. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get it to... Um, with the paint on it. There we go. <coughs> I want it like this. That's really cool. So anyways, we're going to put that here. 
And then this is one of my little embellishments that I had made. And it just spoke to me because, think about it with the guilt, what are we doing? We're hiding part of ourselves, which is part of that guilt. So I want to put these two down. I'm going to use some tacky glue to do it because I want it to stay on. So let's just get some tacky glue. See, there's Gina's signature. All right, and then what I'm going to do, and you guys have seen me do this before because I I like to put reminders in pockets. So um, I'm going to put, I love it. Let's find some buttons. Buttons are bows. Ugh. Got this little jar. This is a little, um, just a little drawer of just funky stuff, you know. Odds and ends, miscellaneous stuff. I like these flowers. Perfect. They are perfect. I just have to, I cut pieces off them here and there. So I just want to straighten up the edges. And these actually have a sticky, st sticky thing on them, I think. Let's look. Maybe, maybe not. Thought they did. Yes, they do. See? They have a sticky paper on them. So let's take that paper off. Wow, it's really sticky underneath. There. And we're going to put these here. I like them. What else can we put on here? Cool button. Just looking for little things. Oh, there's a little heart we can put on there. Nope. There's another button. Cool. That'll work. Put this back. And in this little bag, after I get it all assembled, actually I don't think I want to put that where it was, so we're going to put it right here. I need to cut the shank off this. Um, you can just get a pair of, I call them wire cutters. Is that what these are called, honey? Wire That's cutters? Nice. Yeah. So I just got a pair of wire cutters, and I just cut the shank off the buttons. I very rarely use the buttons. Or, yeah, the buttons the way they are supposed to be used. I always cut the shanks off. I'm just going to put that right there. And we're going to stick this one here. So don't think just because um, you find a button like that that has a shank on it, you can't use it in your art. Because you can. Just get a pair of small little wire cutters like this. And cut the shank off the back of it. Alright. So this is going to go right here. And I'm going to use some blue to get it straightened out. So let's take some double-sided tape so that it stays. Just need a little roll. We're just going to stick it down. And I'm just going to put a little across the top and the bottom, just because if I pull, you know, the cards out, I don't want it pulling on the base of the envelope. So there. So we got those. And we're going to put it all together. So this side is going to be my pocket, and I'm going to put in here the tools, what I call my tools, that I have in the toolbox to deal with the guilt when I'm feeling that way. And... My number one go-to, um, whenever I have any type of emotions like that that just feel like they're going to run me over, is my journal. Um, and I'm not talking about an art journal. I'm talking about my private journal. I have had a private journal for, well, <laughs> pretty much ever since my chronic pain started. Um, and... I use it, if not daily, every other day. Um, more than... Normally, I, I try to write into it daily. 
Um, there are some days that, you know, I don't get into it as much as I'd like to. Um, you know, either I just don't have the time or I'm just, just not in the mood to write. But in my journal, um, everything, I talk about everything in there. Every feeling I have, uh, you know, if I'm upset or mad at myself, it all goes in the journals. And I have found that by taking the time to sit down and write, all of those emotions don't drown me. If I don't sit down and write, I have a really hard time with a lot of the emotions. So um, the first one I'm going to put on here is journaling. That is my go-to. And it was funny, my husband and I were looking this morning, we were just talking about, I have a bookshelf full of journals. And he's like, oh, all those are, you know, your art journals? I'm like, no, the bottom shelf is just personal journals. And I have a lot of them. And I think that is one of the best ways. And you know, you don't have to, if you're worried about somebody reading your journal, um, I'm sorry, because the way I feel about it is journals are private. Um, I have told my husband he can look at them anytime he wants because we don't keep anything from each other and he understands. But on the, on the same note, if he was journaling and didn't want me to read his journals, I wouldn't. That's just, I mean, that's just how it should be. So if you do, if you get a chance or if you can, and a journal doesn't have to be a fancy, you can just take a regular composition notebook. As a matter of fact, that's what my journal is this month, is just a plain um, composition notebook. I take and I put washi on the edges, and I decorate it up a little bit with stickers. Um, and then I just, I go to it and I write. Um, my journal also, not only the emotions, but it also has some of my daily life, places I go, things I do, that, that kind of thing. But this is my main go-to, which is journaling. Okay, so that's the first thing I go to. Um, another thing I will do, and I'm sure all of you have done it, it's not the best way to, um, it's not the best way to get through the guilt, but it helps. And I sit down and have a good cry. <laughs> that just, it happens, you know, um dropping stuff all over the place here, guys. Oy, oy, oy. Um, I sit down and I'll have a good cry. And once I get it out of my system, then I can actually sit and think about it um, more logically. So I'm just going to put a couple tears on here because that's what happens. You know? Unfortunately, with chronic pain, that's one of the issues, is um, all of these emotions and how to deal with them. So, yeah. I will sit down and I will cry. I call them my meltdowns. And uh, I'll tell my husband, yeah, I had a meltdown today, and he knows exactly what I'm talking about. And it happens. I mean, I don't, I don't expect it to never happen again. It's all part of trying to figure out how to live life in chronic pain and how to get through those emotions and how to live a purposeful life. And I think that is a big key. Um, when you have chronic pain, you just, and you, you're, you can't physically do the things that you used to be able to, it's hard to try and feel like you have a purpose to wake up in the morning. Right? So... That's a number one. That's another thing I do. I'm going to put that back there because I don't like to do that very often. Okay, let's put another one in here. Um, this is another one. And I will turn to music. Um, there's days when I, you know, a lot of these emotions keep coming back up again. And I will sit and... I'll put either my headset on or I'll turn it up as loud as I can here in the art studio. And I just listen to music. Now, 
my hubby's sick. Sorry, honey. Um, you know, I, the music is, I can get myself kind of just take my mind off what I'm thinking about being, meaning the emotions of guilt and I can just focus on something else. And like I said, I turn it up as loud as I can and I sing and I don't care who likes it or who doesn't, it doesn't matter. All right. So those are three things that I do. Um, there are other things that I'll do. Uh, I will talk to whomever it is that I'm feeling guilty or, you know, whatever the situation may be. You know, I'll, I'll talk to my husband and say, you know, I'm just, I feel really guilty that, um, you know, I have to keep asking you to do this. And he's like, it's okay. It's okay. So those are the things I do um, personally. Now, this page, I just, I found this guy and I thought, how fitting, right? Look at him. Is he cool? I just love it. So he's going to go on here. And I also found this um, saying, this came out of a book. And it says, find your comfort zone. And we're going to put this on this page as well. And then I saw this, and it says, may we help you? And I like this um, because, yeah, I, I want to try to help. If I, I'm hoping these videos will help people. And, you know, I just want to put that right there. That's going to happen. Let's find the glue. So I think one of the biggest things, you know, to understand is it is okay to feel guilty I mean that's just that's it's part of life it's it's part of our emotions as a human being and there's nothing wrong with it um, it's how you deal with it is where you need to think about and learn about and you know try um, like I said I will talk I will you know most likely during a meltdown um, you know, I'll talk to my husband and I'm like, well, I, you know, I feel like this because of this and, and, you know, he'll sit and talk with me about it, which is, you know, it's huge. And I know some of you don't have that support out there and I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, you know, I am here. I am available. Shoot me a message. Even if you just want to vent, I mean, I, I'm willing to talk to pretty much anybody. So, um, you know, if you just want a, a shoulder to cry on or someone to vent to, you know, send me a personal message and um, we'll chat. So this little guy, uh, he's got his earbuds in, which I thought was so cool. So he's just chilling out and he is not letting the guilt get to him. Right? Is he cool? <laughs> And then I found this. This apparently I had cut out of a piece of scrapboard paper. And I just thought it was neat. So I'm going to lay these down here. Um, let me get... I don't want to use matte medium on that. I just want some regular glue. I'm just going to take some regular good old glue. And we're going to put him down here. Oops. Get some glue on him. He's going to roll all up because it's out of a magazine. That's okay. Look at him. He's so cool. Oh, we got to move him a little bit. I want his ear on the page. Come on. Come on. All right. Let's put him down. You are Groot, huh? I am Groot. You are Groot. <clears throat> I hope he's got a nasty cold and I hope he keeps it to himself. Please. I don't want it. That's another thing. When you get sick, when you have chronic pain, it just seems to take its toll quicker, I think. All right, so here's my little foxy guy. Isn't he cute? Love him. He's just listening to his music, chilling. Now, because this is a, a harder cardstock type, I'm going to use tacky glue on this because I'm just afraid that regular school school glue, type of school glue, is not going to keep this down. So we're going to use tacky glue on this. All right. 
I'm going to put this down right here just because I think he's cool. How awesome is that? Kind of wipe away the glue so I don't stick my pages together. Isn't he cute? All right, um, we're going to find your comfort zone. And really, um, being all about chronic pain, this is one of the things that's the hardest to do. <laughs> is find out, A, when you are comfortable or when you're in your comfort zone. Um, it's not easy. And I know it's not easy. And, you know, I have an optimistic view about chronic pain. And the reason I have that is because if I don't, I would be just plain completely miserable. And I don't want to be that way. So... You know, I've had somebody say to me, well, you're, you know, over optimistic. No, I'm not. I just don't want to be miserable. And I prefer to live my life happier than sad. So that's just why I have the attitude I have. I've been dealt with this. You know, I've been dealt this chronic pain. Why? No idea. But it is what it is. I can't change it. You know, and one of the things that we need to stop feeling guilty for something we didn't choose. I didn't choose this. If I had a choice, I probably would have still been working and, you know, just living life. But I didn't choose it. It chose me. And I think another thing, I actually saw this um, on a blog, and I honestly don't remember whose. It was quite a while ago. But it was... The, the comment was, my best won't look like yours, and yours won't look like mine, but we can each do what we can. And I thought that was really cool, too. So, hold on just a second. Let me, I want to dry up some of these, these glues, and then we're going to come back and finish up this page. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys. So, I'm sorry I thought I had the camera on, and I didn't. Um, I did a little bit of doodling. Um, I used a, a pearl pen. Um, I used a gold, whoops. A gold metallic marker that I just got. I think I got that from Wish. Um, I just used this black concept brush tip pen, a Stabilo, and a water brush. And I just did a little bit of dueling here and there, but I'm going to call them done. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed today's video. Again, we talked about guilt and what we can do to combat that guilt. It's never going to completely go away, and I don't ever expect it to, but. Um, you know, I hope it helps. And like I said, my number one go-to is journaling, and it has been such a huge help to me. So I hope you can find a little bit of peace in that guilt. Um, you know, talk to the people that you feel, you know, of what you're feeling, your support system, and see if they can help you through it. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, box below. And don't forget to put a note out there on, um, you know, something you do to combat your guilt because this is our third book that um, I got from the Blue Mountain Arts and um, I'm going to do a random drawing and hopefully one of you guys will win this. So you guys take care. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.